how much did it cost to build my house in the Philippines? So we're gonna go over this because it's definitely the most number one asked question. Everyone wants to know uh, prices and, and what it costs. So I was hesitant to do this video first or to add prices in while I was doing it because the fact is it's very subjective to where you live. So just like the US or Canada, uh, the cost of one state or one island is completely different than another one. So it, it definitely confuses a lot of people because if there's no one set cost to what it costs to build a house anywhere for that matter. So if you're in Cebu or you're in Dumaguete, it's a different price. If you're buying land inside Dumaguete or in the suburbs right outside or in the province or the country, then the price is completely different. So material costs will be better in the city, but of course the land cost will be a lot higher. So that being said, what did it cost me? So first I'll get into the labor. Um, as of right now, we have two guys working on the house. So one of them is a laborer, very good. And the other one is the foreman. So he's paid higher, clearly you can see that. Uh, that ends up coming out to $82 a week. So that's $4,300 for the last year. Now, we didn't have just two guys building the house the entire time, of course, that wouldn't make any sense. So at the beginning, there was in between, you know, five and seven, because when the walls were going up and you got to keep carrying the cement and the rebars up and down the stairs and everything else, then we obviously needed to have more staff. So as of right now, there's only two because once the house got built and the roof was put on, then it was just smaller stuff like the cosmetic stuff. So you don't need the same staff. So that being said, um, we're paying $5.50 for a bag of cement or 225 peso. Uh, plywood, which you use a good amount of, uh, $26 a piece. The block press machine and the cement mixer are things that we bought because we wanted our cement much stronger than the way you could purchase it. So if you look at the cost, I paid about 18 peso or 36 cents for our blocks. So you can buy them for that same price. However, they're going to be a lot weaker of a mix. So we decided to invest the money into the equipment so we could make much stronger blocks. So it's a personal choice, not something you need to do. So like I said, you could build this house much cheaper because you could use those equipment to cut the mix down in half and still have it decent, or you could just buy the blocks if you want to, and you don't need to, to dump the 2K or 1900 on the blocks. Uh, that being said, okay, so the roof, we spent approximately $1,800. That's definitely changed a little bit. Um, we factored in overage when we first built it, but then we added, we ended up adding on a little bit more roof. So that's a rough figure for the first 150 sheets that we bought. And again, if you, if you watch the last video, it's much cheaper if you go with the metal. So we could have done this for half the price, I, probably less, I believe, than what we use to stop most of the heat. Using the metal roof, of course, is much cheaper, but it was worth it for us to upgrade. So that's why we did that. Personal choice, you can do it either way. So again, you could have, I could have cut down the cost a lot on this, but I'm gonna be there for 30 or 40 years, so it wasn't something I wanted to do. Um, Rebar for 10 and 16 millimeter, looking at 125 or 300 for those, so 250 or $6. I believe those prices have gone way up since then because everything is getting a lot more expensive, but luckily we've been done that part of the house for quite some time. Um, the square bar and the round bar, which you're gonna see all over like the porch area and inside of the house and the railing, uh, those are relatively cheap for some of those. They were 330 a piece or 1710 so the rectangular tubing is the one that's actually expensive that's the 1710 because we have that supporting our floors and, and you know our roof and stuff like that so that is more expensive the doors came out to approximately 5,000 peso a piece um, all said and done and installed so we have nine doors total and tile flooring downstairs. So I'll get into this in depth on the next video when I'm getting into the, the house more and in the, in the last stages. So we won't get too crazy on this, but just to give everyone an idea of the price, we paid 798 for 300 tiles at 133 peso a piece. So it cost us about $800. 
Um, the tile kitchen wall, which is only a few of, that came out to $86. We may end up buying a few more of those. We really haven't decided. Uh, kitchen cabinets, you have four of the double, you have two of the single, so 528, 321. Um, you have the hanging double, and then of course we have the hanging single. So you can obviously see the prices right there for each one of those. I'm not gonna read them all off, but again, we could have bought these for half the price and gone with cheaper ones, or you could spend five times this price and, and get the best ones there are. So that that's a personal choice when you're buying it, but this gives you a good idea of what we spent for what we have. Okay, the granite countertops, we bought four of those and they are 60 by 240 so that's in centimeters so if you're using usd that would be approximately two feet by i believe it was 7.8 it's not quite eight feet but we bought four of them so we have an l-shaped in the kitchen so you have one and one and then we have a breakfast bar where we're going to stagger them like this so then there'll be two more when it's all done so those are already paid for they're there and now for the bathrooms, I'm not going to sit here and, and list the each sink cost and faucets and shower heads and stuff like that. But in a nutshell, we spent about $2,400 outfitting the bathroom. So we did all those purchases at once, including the heater. Uh, my wife picked out every one of those things and then we paid for them all at once. So we had everything for the two bathrooms and we know we spend a week in labor. So very happy with that cost. Okay, so for the windows and glass, I'll put up a picture. So I'm not just sitting here being uh, boring and, and reading off every single one of them. Um, but as you can see, these are some of the prices for the, the most common ones that we have in the house. So you look at the three foot by four foot which is the one with the angle we have two of those in the living room that came out to 118. Um, the two CR bathroom ones which are smaller or bathroom they call it CR 91 dollars and then the four foot by six foot which we have in the bedroom is 106 dollars and then we have two sliding glass doors that actually go to each other off of the bedroom and open up so that comes out to 296 dollars for those now getting into some of the windows that we have bulk of would be these for example and those are seventy dollars a piece so we have 11 of those which is going to come out to 770 dollars and we have six of these we end up changing the size of two of them so this is slightly off but this gives you a really good idea where these windows cost 160 dollars so and we bought a few of these and these prices for the windows that comes installed um, and put in with the metal railings and everything all said and done. So I did have one person ask me about the screens because they said, you don't have any screens in your house. Well, we're going to put in screens when we get there. Uh, the way I looked at it is when we did the mirrors, or sorry, when we did the glass, this is in late 2018, um, I didn't want to put in the screens right away and then leave them there for about three years. So it didn't make any sense to me. We can just pop in the screen. So the glass is paid for, the glass is installed, the house is painted. Um, doing the screens is going to be a one hour job and it's going to cost pennies compared to what the house costs, of course. And also, I just want to say a couple of people asked if, if the house I thought took too long. And the answer would be no, because when we came up with this plan and we knew, you know, I'm going to say four to five years in advance, it was like, okay, let's budget out for these, this many years and build it slowly so that it's done when we're ready to move and we go there and we're in the house permanently. So we could have done the house much faster, but the only thing that would have caused is me to withdraw the money from my savings, pay for the house, and then leave it empty for a couple years, which to me, that didn't make any sense. Okay, so as far as a summary of what we've spent, um, as of right now, to date, we've invested $69,100. Uh, now, like I said, originally I was planning on 80000 which was a rough guess by calculating the size of the house, factoring in the blocks. I used an app. Um, I drew it myself, and then that, that's what I was figuring it would cost. But, of course, building a house, you end up going up. Um, a lot of things we were able to find cheaper and then a lot of other things we ended up spending more on like the block pressing machine But at least now we own it um, Cement mixer 
had to purchase that, but now we own it. So we could have kept the cost down by making the blocks cheaper or not purchasing those machines and then gone down a little bit on the quality. Or if we use blocks that were four inches instead of what we used or six inches, sorry, uh, that would have also really cut costs down between the blocks and how much cement you're putting inside of them. So I also just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has hit the subscribe button and everyone that has hit the like button. I really do appreciate it and I mean that because when you're a, a little mini YouTuber about this big and you're trying to put out videos, it really helps a lot. It, it makes you want to do this more. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions about any one of these materials or how long something took or if we could have bought it for a cheaper or more expensive or anything like that or, or even a comment on how much you paid and how long it took you and in, in your labor cost, then throw in the comment section. I've gotten back to, I believe, everyone and I'm going to keep doing that. So thank you for watching.